like my megaphone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. ago about this Tartarian deal right mm -hmm. and uh, so I found out that you know a little bit about it uh, first I'd like to you know take this opportunity to introduce you to the audience mm -hmm. for the you don't know audience we, we got a uh, tens of thousands of viewers worldwide and this is house a professional uh, uh, broadcast journalist it was, it's a pleasure being here um, I, I've done so many different platforms uh, professionally, but this is definitely my favorite. Um, everything else is black and white in this world. You know, you got sports, you got comedy, you got movies, you got TV, but to really open up the mind and open up your heart and maybe learn something that was unlearned, that you may have known before, it's a special thing. House, let me find out that you're not from Texas. I am not. <laughs> okay. How did I know? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. No, but I do love Texas. I, I, I Austin is a, a very spiritual porthole for me, I think. And I was don't know how I got here. And now I'm here with you, and it just makes sense. Kick ass, and uh, pretty soon we're going to be at Ghost Light Road doing uh, Ghost Light Road investigation number six. Oh, uh, we're going to be everywhere, brother. <laughs> Wait, hey. We got to show them what. You know, exactly. we're their portal. Yeah. So we'll exactly. we find out our answers that we get by doing and researching so you don't have to. Uh, but we're going to take you along. That's right. Along yeah. with us, man. We'll do the work. Yeah. I mean, pretty soon we're going to have some kick-ass merch for you, too. Huh? Some really kick-ass Faces Texas uh, merch, baseball caps and stuff. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people hadn't heard, but it was I think it was two years ago in Forbes magazine, which is obviously you know, a world-leading financial magazine and stuff. They declared Austin, Texas as the number one boom town in the world. Yeah, right now it's the number one growing tech city in the world. Uh, Austin, Texas, they're pumping out more software engineers than anywhere else on the planet. I mean, you see Google, you see the Indeed, you see Amazon, you see Apple, blah, 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 blah. they're all coming to Austin, um, which is great. I mean, build more, build more. It's yeah. not what Austin used to be, but you got to evolve in life. Just like we evolve, cities has to evolve. Life has to evolve. And right, and the thing is, but we all just take the dark with the light, and so there is a darker aspect to this, and I don't know um, if you've been advised about this, but they've announced it in the newspapers. There's uh, Austin is kind of turning into a new Silicon Valley, right? Okay, mm -hmm. because you know everything's so screwed up in California with all the prices and stuff. 
Um, and I'm, as y'all know, I'm in the real estate industry, and so not we, only not only the prices, but Silicon Valley pulled fifty seven percent of the visas away from international people coming to Silicon Valley. Now, what is Silicon Valley based on? Immigrants, people from everywhere else. Smart people. Bang! That we don't have here in America. Uh, yeah. But uh, so now, where do they go? They were going to Toronto. They're going to Berlin. They're going to Shanghai. But now they're coming to Austin, Texas. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, my uh, roommate that I had here, that um, he um, he was a working for the Texas uh, Department of Transportation, wow. working on high uh, I thirty five, the interstate, the world's first smart highway. Is it real? And he had top it. secret clearance. Because he was on the actual design team. And yeah, he was a, a, an Indian man that they brought up here from Canada. Perfect example of what you're talking about. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so that, that, that kind, of, kind of is a trend with you. People, uh, people uh, on the inside. Yeah, it really is. And there were some weird things. I, I don't think Nick, Nick watches the show. But I, according to my psychics, there was some weird stuff. He had more than one mission down here. Well, I mean, if, if we've, we've done our research on Austin, Texas, and what it's based on originally, where the Indians wouldn't let anything in or out, and it's kept that way. I mean, you f I, felt, I felt the vibe. As soon as I entered Austin, I knew it. I didn't know what was going on, but I knew I was right where I was supposed to be at that moment and everything since. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And now, Nick, I don't think I'm, I'm not uh, violating his anonymity, but Nick, and I, by me, um, Indian, like from India or whatever, his dad, and they had Lamborghinis and all this shit, but his dad was an officer of one of the branches of the World Bank. Right. So he was like, <laughs> hey, that's not Illuminati, all right? <laughs> and but, and, Nick, and Nick is a brilliant man, uh, but and he really uh, adored his father and said he was very smart and everything. Um, but Wait, Nick was the guy with that World Bank? Uh, no, Nick was uh, my roommate that I had here up until about about three months ago. Okay, but who was associated from him with the World Bank? His father in Canada. Oh, so kind of like your uncle. Yeah, you're right. You feel me with that connection. connection? Yeah, right. Now check out. There's another connection. I my psychics told me this. Nick was down here with more than one mission, and he had all dates almost every day. And but they were and these sugar daddy websites. It, but he, in his mind, he was it, it to was each their own. Yeah, right. No, he really believed that he was not engaging in. I'm not saying any. I'm not making any judgments. Okay. Yeah, he don't, had a good view on it than I did. Um, but anyway, um, so he had a lot of partners, and it, something came out from one of my psychics about it. But uh, but here's the thing: his father, his whole family was in service to some deity in India. Yeah. And so his father was some high priest of some deal. Um, also. I was told by two of my psychics that Nick had more than one mission down here, and one of his missions was to spy on yours truly. So, uh, and I don't know that against him. You know, he may have not even been conscious of doing it, and uh, but yeah, it, so it's just all real. Just to sell. Yeah, yeah, just a submission, and uh, it, not, not that. And you use the word spying, but that because that has negative condensations. Yeah. But that's not always. That's not what spying could be. You know, sometimes we have. People that look, yeah, mentoring, you. mentoring, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying building, that, yeah, that I'm making not... sure you're keeping to your path, yeah. maybe giving you a little, paving a little more of a road. Exactly, yeah. And right. there is no coincidence. Yeah, they're they're definitely keeping tabs at, <laughs> on you, obviously, on me. Yeah, they mm -hmm. might like to know kind of. What's I guess that's why they put us together now. Yeah, well, we're easy to, we're they easy made to it a lot easier. <laughs> we made it a lot easier to keep tabs on us. Right. <laughs> Do the show, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> Make their job easier. Huh? Yeah, yeah, they've been chasing me around for years, man. Oh, I'll give them a freaking break. We live on Love Street. Linger long. I love the IPAs, the colleges. You, you got a lot of good beer, man. Yeah, it's good, good craft beer. Yeah. Cheers, my friend. Yes, yeah. All right, so, um, so I, go ahead. I talked a little bit about the Tartarian. Mm -hmm. um, Empire. And this is this is really what they can do. All right. Well, uh, you were touching before on what we're bringing up today, uh, the Tartarians. Um, 
Well, you know, the tar the, the Tartarian is a very, it, it brings a uh, cognitive dissonance. In other words, some of these ideas that in the uh, truth of community are so radical and different from what we were taught to believe growing up that it actually can, like, hurt your brain, you know, or mm, hurt okay. every time. They call this cognitive dissonance. Well, wrap your mind around this. I, and I'm not saying that I subscribe to the Tartarian, you know, empire theory. or but just you know, aware of its name. Yeah, and, you know, some of it can be true, some of it not true. But just, you know, wrap, wrap your mind around this, if this is even true. When the, pilgr when the pilgrims landed on Plymouth Rock, the Empire State Building and the Manhattan Bridge were already here. <laughs> wrap your mind around that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, yeah that's not the world I grew up in, you know. But um, now, Tartary uh, was a place. A lot of people don't know it was a place. And up until up until very recently, my experience with Tartarian is I just thought it was a place, like where Pangea happened, and then that ex expanded and whatnot. And but Tartary is a place. And if we're gonna get up a map, what on your edit, but. Uh, yeah, any map that we reference right now, just reference it, and we're going to put it in for the viewers. So. Well, the, any map before, what, what would you say, 1411, 1390? I mean, it's built on the Tartarian idea, and, and that's just how the world was at that point. And then the timelines, when I first got into it, the timelines didn't make sense. So I'm like, wait a second, how is the, the Great Wall of China and, and like, the, these structures not being documented if they were there for thousands oh, okay. of years. Now, this, I've got uh, some insight on that, and this actually brings in another conspiracy that has something to do with this, and this is a conspiracy that definitely brings in cognitive dissonance. This is the idea of the chronology denier. Right. And the very first chronology denier was, or that we know of in the English language was Sir Isaac Newton. Right. The guy that brought us science, you know, who actually was involved well, who, heavily in the occult. The government gave him the science. Right. Yeah, he, he had, had to, you know, go with the, the science. Tesla idea, the, what, what our president's grandfather did to Mr. Nikolai Tesla, if we're yeah. aware of that. Exactly. And, uh, uh, what really got me with the Tartarianness was the architecture. Now, if you, do your, if you do your homework with the architecture, now you, you're going to probably do your own homework at home. I'll double that down. <laughs> now, if you're going to do your homework at home, I want you to pay attention to a couple of things architectural-wise. Look at the squaring and look at the, what would you call that, arching? arching. Arch. And then look at the columns. The columns. Now, you could go anywhere around this planet that we live on, this big rock, and you'll see the same exact... Oh, but not in Japan, Japan, right? Oh, definitely in Japan, right? Even, what? <laughs> they have buildings like that in Japan? What the hell? Isn't that amazing? Don't they have their own motifs? Don't they have their own designs? And their... No, no they don't because it wasn't their own. Um, the Great Wall of China, that, that's what really struck me as odd. Um, because look at the way it's built. Hey, what is it built out of? Oh, it's to, it's to keep the barbarians out of China, right? Right. Or, oh, yeah, right. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Because it, they said it took the Great Wall of China a thousand years to build. And a thousand years ago. Right? They, they built this for a thousand years. Uh, on brick and mortar, by the way. Where it, we couldn't do it today. It wouldn't last. Like, it's lasted... From their words, it's lasted, what, 2,000 years, I think? I don't know. About 1,000 years. They, yeah. they say it lasted 1,000 years. Now, it doesn't have to wear a tear of 1,000-year-old structures. It's something we can't do today. Things that we build today with our brick and mortar, they're not going to last 1,000 oh, years. Oh, yeah. Anymore. I mean, yeah, 200 <laughs> max, you know. If, if that. Yeah, right. I mean, this, and you've been around this world. You've been to places where I want to be. The Peruvians and... That architecture, that engineering, you can't have that, that science. Out. What it's like those rocks are melted together. Lasers, yeah, something. heat, something. Yeah. There's no mortar in between these structures. Yeah, and there, there's a guy, and I can't cite him. He's got a paper, but there's actually a scientist who may have figured that out. And uh, what what was going on with that? And that has, interestingly enough, it has to do with silver and gold mines. And of course, they do a lot of mining over there. 
Well, when you, the residue or what's left over when you have a silver or gold mine, there's these acidic pools all over the place, yep. like, like piss-colored pools. It's a very acidic water, and there's some chemical or something in there that will actually kind of melt rocks. And so the the acid, the acid, yeah. yeah. And so it might not have been lasers, but it was still. I mean, it's just hard to say. You know, there 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 there, I, there can be super high technology without having to get here for the UFO. Because the elongated skulls people, yes, they were so advanced and had all this stuff, but they were also weaving baskets. Okay? I we've, mean, but we've also seen the, the drill marks, the... Oh, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the precise, precise... Machining. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. The moving of spectacularly large objects. Yeah. You did. I, I, I just, I just, 200 tons, you know, three train hundred, cars, a thousand tons, there's, you can't get 500 miles hands on something, I don't 500 think. miles, you're going to move a yeah. 100,000 pounds, yeah. and build on top of it, and make yeah. it happen in 20 years, and it happen, you know, or Baalbek, you know, right, 2,000 tons, what, come on, yeah, I, you can't, I can't wrap my mind around it, yeah, you can't, there's no, you can't get that many hands on it, I was just in Florida, and there's a place called Coral Springs, Florida, now, I don't know if you're aware of Coral Springs Castle. Uh, I think so. What's his name? It starts with the name? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know his name because I should have done some research. We'll pop it up. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll put it on here. We'll uh, do our research. We've got to research this guy. Yeah, I, I bring he he built it in honor of his uh, wife or a girl that left him or something, right? He, nobody ever saw an excavator, a bobcat, a crane. There was nothing. I've been there. They are the size of train cars. And he did everything at night. Nobody ever seen nothing. There are levitations in this world. I mean, we could do it with our own minds if you understand your mind. So that's not the problem. But the problem is, this was 30 years ago. Now, where he got his ideas was from... He was from Europe, from, from, from the whole oh, he was from the Tartarian era. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. That's where he got his oh, triangle oh. idea well, from. Well, that's a nice coincidence for you. There we go. Now, it's Pliskin. It's not Pliskin, but it's something. It's a skin. Is the last syllable of his name. Something. Yes. Yeah. 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 Middle yeah. skin or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of different maps that will show you how the world was designed, and uh, oh, maybe we got one. Well, uh, what, I, what I was going to do is, while you were uh, talking about that narrative, I was going to look up that guy's name because it was kind of bugging me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Cor the Coral Castle, he, uh, I don't know if he had a jilted, you know, he got jilted by some lady. Yeah, it was one of his exes or his, his know, ex so he, he obsessively you know, built it for her to try to get her to come back, you know, and it did, that didn't work, unfortunately. It's the old-fashioned love story. Yeah, exactly. I'll know. build a castle with my hands. And, yeah, and, then, yeah. <laughs> and this guy, he wasn't like a big man of big stature. He it was actually like five foot two, you know, like 110 pounds, you know, and, and we're talking huge rocks. He it's, it's beyond mind blowing. I mean, you wouldn't be able to see this now. Yeah. There's no way. You, and he, it's like when, if you go to the, if you go to any ancient sites around the world, you're going to see something where physics, re, I mean, you brought up the mortar thing where how the acid, I never thought about that. That's fucking pretty brilliant. But because I, I, from how it looks, if you go around the, it looks like things are just placed so perfectly because you can't visibly see mortar. It's almost like the placement and the, the even the, the doorways or the sun the sun uh, the sun walkways and the entrances to the gods and, and the entrances and to they're the, polygonal and, and, and mind you gods. Yeah. Um, they're all built with. They're, they're poor polygonal, meaning they're like so many si sides to them, but they're yeah. they're, it's not like uniform. They're like different size stuff that like seems to just fit together. I mean, but perfectly, like fit together perfectly, and it's very fascinating. Uh, so, Ed Ed Lead Scalnin. Hey, you read right the Scalnin? Yeah, mm. Scalnin. Oh, you're right. Yeah, old Scally. Scally away. Yeah. Woo. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna. Mind you, this is a very new topic. Um, uh, like I was saying, um, this whole uh subject we're on right now is now, mind you, 
I've just started touching on this within the last couple of years. Um, most recently, very recently, because new things are coming out. Uh, people like us are doing our research, and we are hitting the pavement and going to these places. Well, <laughs> the ones that you can. Absolutely. The picture we just showed was from Austin, Texas. It, yeah, we're going to delve. Let's go back to that. Let, okay. I want you to explain that to the people. Because um, I, I was fascinated when you brought it up. I thought it was a picture of Washington, D.C. Okay, well, it says at the, on that arch, on the Wilkinby arch, it says, Welcome in. And my uh, grandparents had a, a, a light switch in their home that said, Welcome in. That means welcome. It's German. So there was a big German um, uh, community here in Austin. You know, so back the then. Sanger Fest? The Sanger Fest. You know, oh. we'll, we'll, we'll find out what that means. It right has something to do with beer or something. If any of like you German that. people have it, just hit us up and uh, exactly. inform us. Help us out. Hey, uh, and let me mention this. I, my book, My Family Created the National Security State, No Need to Thank Me, is a German publisher has approached me, and they're really going to be making a German version of my book. Anybody, if, if you all know, the Germans are the most, one of the most open-minded, very intelligent because of their history, obviously. Uh, yeah, they, they, they know the occult very well. Science. Science. I mean, science, I dropped science. a Mercedes Benz. Come on. I, mean, yeah. I, I thought it was just a, a fashion statement until I owned one. I was like, are you kidding? Oh it's like God. built around you. Yeah. It's like you just meld into it. And so, yeah. So the engineer go 110 miles an hour. You're like, getting pulled over. Like, what? Oh, I thought I was going 30 miles an hour. 34. <laughs> I'm in a school zone? Damn. <laughs> um, yeah, not only that, but, you know, look at the scientists. Werner von Braun. Yes, it's his crew. Well, yeah. Well, what you know is NASA, and as and all my audience knows, Werner von Braun was brought here by my great uncle. And I'll, I'll put the picture up here right now. That's the picture you're looking at is uh, J Jerry Ford, Gerald wow. Ford, uh, then governor. This is before he was president, and then uh, and uh, on the extreme left is uh, Werner von Braun. No, no, I two left is Gerald Ford, and then Warner Von Brown, second from left, and then third from left is my great uncle, the Congress, late congressional leader, George Mahon. <laughs> it's unreal, man. Yeah, it's like, wow. unreal. It is. Yeah. I know, I didn't, yeah. Uh, wow. Um, like power. That, that supreme power. And... Except that he would, I'm sure, he would, he had to be taking orders from somewhere. I mean, of course he was. You know, because as powerful as he was, of course he was. Exactly. Because one thing I, you know, I figured out, a lot of people are into the truth or movement or into conspiracies and they're like, look, they're at the, on the level of like banksters and stuff like that. Oh, the banks are ripping us off. No, so bro. That's the original school shit. Banks mean nothing. We're, you know, we're here at the top echelons with the spiritual, you cannot solve the riddle without looking at non-human intelligence. That's what, that's what it is. It, 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 Humans are, are and I, I, I don't like this word, um, workers, okay? I'll, I'll use workers instead of the other word I was going to use. Uh, it all started with mine shafts. It all started with gold mining. That's, I mean, if you go into the, after Pangea with the Anunnaki and the Sumerians, come on, man. Uh, you, you, diamonds, gold, there, there's some kind of fuel there. And, and, and while that's all true. I, it, it, I'll, I'll never be a human apologist. I always say, and y'all know this, that the human being is the cosmic template. We are the game, okay? If the, if the aliens or whoever they are are constantly putting us down saying we're worthless and everything like that, why the fuck are they so interested in us, huh? What the fuck? We got the power. That's it. All right? And yes, we were put in the minds and made to do all the work of these quote unquote gods, but that was the degenerated version of us. They downgraded us. Oh yeah, they had to. Yeah. Free we will. Run free will yeah, took exactly. over, man. When free will took over. And we're coming back. We're, That's it, huh? We're sleeping with the chicks. Put you on notice. Mixing species and stuff. That's it. They had to wipe it out. They had to start over. We were preserved. We had no free will. Right. And, and, and they're gonna try it again. And here we are again. Now, they, hey, listen, it, not everything lasts forever, huh? <laughs> it might, it might last, work the last, you know, hundred times, but let me tell you, hundreds of charm. We're, we're Your taking, luck. We're taking runs. the city by, We're taking Ow. this corner of the cosmos by storm. That's it, huh? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get to the bottom of this yeah. one, or the top of this one, or around this one. E um, even the Bible, you know, says that the human being will be elevated above the angels. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's now or a million years from now, but hey, you know, that's some hope right there. Oh, there's no such thing as time. So, with time comes space. And you got to fill that space. And, exactly. Yeah. Um, so back on Tartarianism. Um, what I found.
fascinating was the connection that was made by um, a lot of the truthers, again, of Atlantis and the North Pole. I don't know if you, did you, did you hear any of this? Uh, well, keep, keep elaborating. Okay. I'll, I'll see now, that, that, when we're talking about a map of, it's all based around the North Pole. If you look at any Tartarian map, the North Pole is the epicenter. And there are these huge mountains all surrounding it, and then it's cut into almost looking like a peace sign. Or maybe there's four. Yeah, there's four borders. And it's the North Pole, and you have these mountains, which obviously weren't, they were made. They're man-made. Oh, They're born. Yeah, I'm totally done with that idea. Now, we know that we produce weather. We know we make snow, we make weather, storms. Weather weaponry, yes. Yeah. Weaponized weather. Uh-huh. Uh, we also know that there is a lot of land under Antarctica. So, the North Pole. Who's allowed to fly over the North Pole? Nobody. That's right. That's and I mean, if you had, <laughs> if you had a plane, if you had enough gas, they're gonna you're gonna get your visa stamp. No, they're not gonna let you. And if you you're try to buck, you're gonna get your ass shot down. You'll so, disappear. Uh, yeah, exactly. Admiral Bird was the only one that got out, and that's that's another. That's something I think about all the time. Like, it is. They sent him to the North Pole, and that worked out so good or so bad that they then they sent him to the South Pole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then they got their ass spanked at the South Pole by I don't know New Schwabenland, New Berlin, the the German, the Nazis. Wow. What? What the fuck? The ships, the human beings in flying saucers in utmost detail, documented, and nobody. I bet you got spanked. Hard. And Admiral Byrd is not a conversation topic for anybody, but we, we, you know, we're gonna we're gonna touch on an This man is not a pussy either. No, Admiral Byrd. He's a fucking badass, man. Yeah, I mean he, he did, took a what is it? He took a plane by himself, yeah. you know, and you know. There's a little sense of going to Antarctica, yeah. go into the world. He saw okay. this one hole yeah. and a world of He's up. not gonna send his men anywhere that he won't go personally. Brilliant. That's what that's what we have there. What a Set, 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 yeah, set, set, set for us. Set for us, you know, so uh, we could continue. Now, you know, he had a diary that his yeah. family kept secret. And yep. still to this day, his, his family will not release it. And obviously, they, for obvious reasons, uh, the powers of E do not want this diary re released. No, no, it, it won't be. Because I don't even think it's documented. It won't be available not, anytime soon. I think they do just do the old yunk. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, his family probably don't have it no more. No. Whoever, whoever his if family is even alive. Yeah, right. They're not yeah with us anymore. The no. people that have read the diary. Yeah, yeah. they. Ah, man. Oh man, that's what they do. It's it's. They will rid anything before they will release anything that they don't want to. So, you know, all we're doing is questioning. That's all we're doing. We're gonna find.